majestic Mississippi River. Welcome and happy holidays from 2K Sports. It's time for NBA action. And tonight, we'll see the Golden State Warriors. They'll go up against the Memphis Grizzlies here in FedEx Forum. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got Chris Weber and Greg Anthony with us. And from the sideline, we'll be hearing from David Aldridge. And a chance here now to look at the rookie race. Never too soon to see how some of the fresh faces in the league are holding up. We've got quite a few youngsters looking to put their name in the front of the rookie of the year race. Well, you look at Wiseman. What a rookie year he's having, guys, atop the rankings right now. And even though it might be a tight call, he's definitely the favorite. And what a feeling right now for him. I mean, sitting on top of the heap of all that young talent. Yeah, nobody has made a bigger splash than he has in the early part of the season. He's already living up to his potential. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Draymond Green is out there with Weissman. And it's Wiggins in at the small forward. And for Memphis, Jackson and Valanciunas, they're in the middle. Morant and Brooks manning the backcourt. And it's Anderson in at the three spot. Greg, at the beginning of every season, we love to see players that have worked on something during the offseason that they now have added to their game in the new season. No doubt about it, Kevin. You know, the work doesn't end when the season ends. Uh, if you're trying to improve your skill set or if you're trying to just put on muscle, that kind of stuff needs to be done during the break. You need to have an assessment in the off right after the season. Hey, where can I get better? And then you spend the offseason on that challenge. The season never really ends. On its way from Curry for two, the Warriors keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Now here's Morant. He's coming off an unbelievably high scoring game. And Anderson gets it to go. Well, it's so difficult to defend Morant in the pick and roll. I mean, he can create passing angles in tight quarters. About a minute played so far here in the first. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. Pass to Thompson. The Grizzlies pull it in. Jackson with it. Now Green defending. It's stolen by Green. And here we go with Thompson, running it up the court. Good! I like seeing that kind of sharp passing from Thompson, making sure they get the best shot possible. Morant against Curry. And that one's good, Morant. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now Thompson, a 23-point game for him in the win against the Pelicans in New Orleans. While he was doing that, I mean, dropping buckets. He was keeping everybody else involved, too. I mean, he had a tremendous night facilitating. Now, Green, after the missed three from Stephen Curry. They shoot again, and that one hits back iron. Thompson against Brooks. Pass to Morant. Back to Brooks. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Thompson. Yeah, Kevin, this is sort of a boom or bust type player last year. Brooks is a major league streak shooter. I mean, and when he's on, he can carry your offense. And the first one drops. And when you look at Brooks's game logs from last year, you're spot on. I mean, one night he might put up 30. The next night, he might go for six or seven. Yeah, Jay. And, and, but you need those explosive scorers on the roster. You know, I call him the Vinny the Microwave Johnson type. When he's hot, you ride him. When he's not, sub him. That's it. And where Brooks seemed to have carved out a niche GA, his consistency from range and from the line. 
Kev, if you can space the floor and hit your free throws, you're going to be in the rotation. Brooks really came into his own last season. And the more he refines his shot selection, the more valuable he becomes to this team. Uh, you can't take Curry lightly inside. He's not the biggest guy, but he's exceptionally crafty. And here's Morant. He's averaging almost 31 points a game right now, an extraordinary figure for any player to post. And now running it up the court, Green pushing it all the way. Not many guys more lethal on the catch and shoot. That's an easy bucket for Thompson. The Grizzlies have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Back to Morant, and they pick up two. Morant's got his second bucket. They've come out the locker room. His eye. Four for four to start. The Warriors trailing. And there's the pass to Wiseman. Wiggins against Anderson. Wiggins kicks to Wiseman. Wiggins surveying the floor. It's Curry outside. A shot missing. And Memphis the other way now. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Yeah, th that was a real heartbreaker. And what an amazing push they delivered, though, in that third quarter. But again, just coming up short against some tough opposition. And it turned out to be too much to overcome. Now here's Wiggins after the miss from Clay Thompson. Here's Wiseman. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. Free throw good from Wiseman. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And here's Brooks. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. They trail by one. It's Morant in the corner. And he's good on the three ball. Morant's got seven points. I'll tell you what. When Morant hits this shot with consistency, it sets up everything else you want to run. Outside Curry. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Well, it's a matter of pride and a matter of each side trying to seize control of this game right now. Now here's Brooks. Nine points last game. Back to Anderson. The shot, no good. Wiggins with some nice D. And Kyle Anderson gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. The Warriors leading. Hey, yo, get off step. Curry with it. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Here's Wiseman. Out to Thompson from past the arc. He's forcing things a little bit in this quarter. Settling for shots that he'd be better off passing up. Now, here's Morant for three. The Warriors pull it in. Wiseman's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Morant. He has seven. Here's Brooks. Great tee that time from Curry. Golden State's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Nets the corner three. Six points for him. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Morant. Oh! oh. Well, what a pass from Morant. I mean, he does a terrific job staying alert and seeking those opportunities. Golden State's gone 3 of 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. 
on its way from Curry for two, and it's good off the back rim and in. Curry's got nine points. His teammates keep getting him the ball in his favorite spots. He's done a lot for his shooting position. Morant passes to Anderson. Nine feet out, and he nails the jumper. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. For the Warriors, they won their last contest that game against the Pelicans. Green kicks to Thompson. From beyond the arc, and then some. Thompson's got his third bucket of the night. And the textbook form from Thompson helps him big time, especially when he's gunning from way downtown. Timeout called the Grizzlies. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And judging Morant's game early on, I've heard a few people with Allen Iverson comparisons. Well, put me in that number as well. That's, that's going to be tough to fill up, but it just means he has the potential, the quickness, the athletic ability, the IQ, the handles. They're both lightning fast, slight builds, and both tough. And you see the explosive ability to get to the rim and finish. I'm going to ask my boy A.I. what he thinks about the young Ja. No doubt, Greg, you were known being a gritty, in-your-face defender. And when you think of the most hard-nosed point guards in the NBA today, who comes to mind? For me, I think Chris Paul, I, I go first because this guy, one, he's a phenomenal two-way player. He'll do whatever it takes to win, if, even if that means pushing the envelope a little bit. Pat Beverly is another guy, yes. just a flat-out bulldog. Marcus Smart, I think, falls into that category. Again, it's not always about being the most talented, but if you bring an edge about you, that really permeates throughout your team. So those are some guys. Drew Holiday is another guy I throw mm -hmm. into that mix as well. Yeah, they all lock in. You're right. Golden State's gone four of eight on their three-point attempts, doing a lot of work from way outside here in the first quarter. Passes it to Chris. Offline with his three. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Moran finds Clark, takes the alley-oop pass, and dunks it down. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. It's a seesaw battle. Both teams are pretty evenly matched, and the score reflects that. Now here's Curry. Nine points in the game so far. The shot by Thompson, no good. Oh, golden opportunity that he can't make good on. Maybe a wake-up call to the D, though. They can't leave him alone like that. Morant against Curry. And stolen by Chris. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. And finished off by Oubre. I mean, he could wow you with his passes. I mean, that's as good of a pass as any three-pointer Curry's going to hit. It's Morant's with the drive. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And obviously, his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. And he's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Here's Curry. Following the basket by John Morant. Curry. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Curry's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. Hey, he, he's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Clark outside. Back to Morant. Clark trying to get open. And Morant gets it to go on the assist by Clark. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now especially on the interior. It's Curry outside, and Winslow pulls it down. Memphis has gone 1-2 from long range in the first quarter. Pass to Morant. Fires it up. And too long on the shot. Oh, that's one of the few times they'll get away with leaving him that wide open. Here's Curry with the three. Sinks the triple. Curry's got 14. 
I always enjoy watching the chef go to work. I mean, he's a pure scorer. He fills it up from everywhere. Timeout called the Grizzlies. And last year, Pascal had to do more than probably was expected of him. But this year, a much different story. Well, even in college, he played a more complimentary role to the stars around him. Well, the Warriors have a lot of stars, and Pascal is really thriving in his role. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Elton's checked in, and the Warriors also making a change. Bazemore is checked in. Back to Clark. The putback. It's good on the putback. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. And there's the call on Jones. That's his first foul. The Warriors making a switch here. Looney's checked in. Baysmore on the wing. Outside Curry. Over Jones. It's Clark with the rebound. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. You're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. For Memphis, they have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. First free throw is good. And he makes the first but misses the second. And coming into Golden State last year, Chris had a bit of a resurgence. Oh, yeah. A a averaged more points and rebounds than any other time in his career. Excellent shot selection. I mean, he shot over 54% from the field. He's hoping he's found something that he can build on. He's hoping he's found a home. And the foul called on Brandon Clark. That is his first foul of the game. The Warriors trail. Curry on the wing. Defended by Jones. Oubre can't get it to go. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. Yeah, and they took care of business against this group last year, winning the season series. 112 left to play here in the first. Jones against Curry. To Looney. The tray. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not so unlucky 13 shots. He's used to creating for himself, but this time Curry is a great decoy. I mean, he's the recipient of a good pass. I mean, that, that, that's a great teamwork. Now here's Winslow. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. 44 seconds left to play in the first. Curry against Jones. The pass to Chris. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Brandon Clark. Young, rangy big man. Chris possesses a nice skill set. And I think the potential to be a terrific player in our league. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Chris. Both good from the line that time. 34 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Passes it to Melton. Go. 
Memphis moving it around. Winslow to pass to Clark. Five on the clock. Jones drives in, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Yeah, it's good to see him with this free throw percentage up over 80. down the first one. And so Jones nails both of them. Curry against Jones. Pass to Baseman. With one on the clock. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. John Moran has been leading the charge, guys, for Memphis. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. Back right after this. So, Greg, as you know, we asked Steph Curry, a great self-motivator in his own right, who holds you to the highest standard? And here's what he had to say. Oh, my wife, for sure. No, never ever want to disappoint her. She shoots it to me straight. That's the biggest thing, whether I play well or not. I don't get too big of a head or I don't feel too, uh, too down on myself either. Sounds like he's got a good team, both at home and right here in front of us. Steph has already put up a Hall of Fame career, but you can tell he doesn't feel anywhere near being done. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And taking a look at the Grizzlies' performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, how many coaches say, we want to start fast? Now, let's see if they can maintain that intensity. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. So the Grizzlies five right now. They've got Winslow. Borgie Dang is out there with Brandon Clark. Then it's Tyus Jones. And it's Melton in at the shooting guard. Here's Curry. The Grizzlies making the shot. Puts it up from 15. And he gets the jumper to drop. Curry's got 19 points. So accomplished from mid-range. Curry is outstanding at finding space to shoot from him. Here's Melton, and that one is stuck right through. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. And so here is Golden State. The Grizzlies making the shot. Curry kicks to Chris. It's stolen by Jones. And here's the fast break. Moving it up. There's Winslow. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. And the foul called on Brandon Clark. That's his third foul of the game. Jackson, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. The Warriors also with a sub. Andrew Wiggins, who's checked in for Steph Curry. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And you can see the mindset he has. When the game's this close, he's going to bring it at that end of the floor. Warriors trail by three. Wiggins outside. Pass to Oubre. Baseline try. That falls. Ice feed that time from Wiggins. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a scorer. Here's Melton. He's covered by Bazemore. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. 
And, and though he's very active at the offensive end, Melton probably makes his biggest impact defensively. I agree, Gia. He works hard, shows good instincts, and reads the passing lanes very well. He's also disruptive with his speed, his length, and I like that he can play physical. He, he can get you out of your rhythm. And he makes the first. Greg is a broadcast. Who have been some of your favorite personalities to cover? Man, that's a great question. Uh, you know, most of the stars, it, it, I, I'm a big fan of, of Duran and Steph and LeBron and those guys. Chris Paul's another one that's a favorite. Uh, so many other guys, you know, there's so much more personality and so much more confidence these, these guys have working uh, in front of the camera. I think that just makes for a, a better experience. Somebody asked me the other day, who is my favorite? You know who I said? Who was that? Greg Anthony. Oh, you're just saying that because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> and the Warriors making a change here. Green's checked in. Six to shoot. Baysmore. No one around him. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And the Grizzlies leading by three. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Look, uh, I mean, look, he, he's looking more active there. When Kyle Anderson forces the issue, it makes the defense get aggressive. The Grizzlies have shot the ball well from the free throw line, eight of nine. That free throw good from Anderson. I mean, and you start with Anderson. What you see is what you get. A smart, unselfish player who, who leans into his strengths. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. The pass to Wiseman. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. Already a lot of talk about who's going to take part in the three-point contest this season. And here's a look at the players most likely to make it. And so many great shooters in the NBA these days. And, and these guys, quite frankly, the best of the best. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a scoring record broken in this year's competition. You take a look at Thompson. He's got a place in the three-point contest within his reach. I hope he makes it because I know how much this would mean to him to be a part of the event. I mean, that's a good call, Kevin. He's the type of player that can really deliver on a stage like that. He'll be very dangerous if he ultimately gets in. And we'll keep you posted as we find out more and as we get closer to the three-point contest once we have our final list of official contestants. Yeah, it's going to be very competitive. That, that's the one thing we all know. We, we've got an incredible group of long-distance shooters in this league right now. And just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Wiggins against Brooks. Kicks to Valanciunas. To the inside. Here's Jackson. That shot off. Great D that time from Green. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. A quick shot there and it's off target. Now the feed to Valanciunas. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. Oh man, I love watching Valanciunas score the ball. He makes it look so easy, and he makes the defense feel uneasy out there. And, and add Valanciunas to the list of traditional bigs who are trying to stretch out their games. Last year, he shot more threes per contest than in any other season, and he actually hit them in a decent clip. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. And even though Valanciunas has added the three ball to his game, his value to this team really lies elsewhere. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, he, he better know where his bread is buttered and stay in his lane. Because no question, he's there to be a space eater. Look, think about it. He gives you high-level rebounding 
efficient scoring inside. But if he wants more minutes on the floor, an improved jump shot is key for him. Warriors trail by seven. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Thompson outside from outside the arc. No good. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. Jackson drives in, and the dunk by Jackson. An improved playmaker who does a solid job distributing the rock. Don't sleep on Brooks' vision. Now, here's Thompson. He's got nine. To the paint. And it's Wiggins missing. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. You know, Greg, you'd probably know as well as anyone, what was it like going up against the Bulls in the 90s? You know, it's weird to say, but in a lot of ways, they were, we were a lot like they were. Uh, Hall of Fame talent at the coach, uh, a defensive-minded team, but the one difference was, you know, the Bulls had that guy that wore that number 23. I think <laughs> I'd say that might have been the one difference. That free throw good from Anderson. Eric Pasco, he's checked in for the Warriors. That one is no good. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. It's a 10-point game. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. Yeah, those road games are tricky, but, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Well, staying with your game plan is so important, especially when you are away from your home arena. And here's Valanciunas after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. Morant passes to Valanciunas. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Valanciunas has got four points now in the quarter. Warriors trail by nine. Passes to Wiseman. Back to Pascal. And the wide open shot from Green. It's rebounded by Memphis. Now Brooks. Andrew Wiggins pulls it in. I don't think the D does good enough here. But something causes the miss. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Oh, a good shot blocker who competes hard on defense. Defenders better think twice before trying Valanciunas. Pass to Wiseman. Golden State moving it around. On the wing, Wiggins. Brooks covering. And still, he's scoreless. Boy, they could use just a little bit of help from him. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. But just another example of why you run plays through Morant. I mean, he makes great decisions with the ball in his hands. Warriors trail by 11. Pass to Wiseman. Pascal up top. The pass to Green. Here's Wiseman. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Jonas Valanciunas. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Shooting two. That free throw good from Wiseman. Yeah. 
and that's good as he hits both of his shots. And the Grizzlies leading by nine. Morant outside. There's the dish to Anderson. Over Pascal. Anderson can't get it to go. Golden State's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Wiggins passes to Pascal. Shoots over Morant. And again, no good by Golden State. The Grizzlies have gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Warriors trail by 11. And here's Wiggins. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. No stopping Wiggins there. You have to respect his aggressiveness and fighting mentality. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Stephen Curry, he's checked in for the Warriors. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws a, a good way to get back into the game it stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense they've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter now a timeout called by memphis and here's a look at some numbers for james wiseman in the last five games you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage and it shows you how confident he's playing right now and stolen by Wigan ahead shot is good and the Memphis leads cut down to six and the bucket from Curry and made possible by a heads-up play defensively at the other end Brooks up on top covered by Wiggins that one goes in Anderson's got 11 points. So good at keeping his balance. Anderson doesn't let aggressive defense get to him. Here's Curry. He's got 21. Passes it to Pascal. No good on the triple. Memphis leading by eight. Anderson outside. He feeds it to Valanciunas. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. This is the attitude Anderson brings. A selfless player who loves giving it up to his open guys. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Outside Curry. He kicks to Wiseman. Thompson in the corner. Over Brooks. Five to shoot. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Uh, this shot certainly in Thompson's arsenal. I mean, he keeps the defense guessing. The Grizzlies shooting it as well as you're going to see. 67%. Morant passes to Anderson. Some nice passing there by Memphis. And stolen by Wiggins. And here we go, Thompson heading to the hoop. Count that one. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Jang, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Brandon Clark comes in for Jackson. Justice Winslow, he's checked in for Anderson. And Tyus Jones subbed in for Brooks. Golden State also making some changes. Marquise Chris, he's checked in for Wiseman. And it's Kevon Looney in for Wiggins. Now, here's Clark. Six points for him. Jang dishes to Morant. Down to five on the shot clock. A three ball. Jang, no luck. Warriors trail by five. Pascal inside. Guarded by Morant. Curry can't get it to go. Three triples in the first quarter, but he's yet to knock one down here in the second. And one of the biggest surprises last year for Memphis 
Brandon Clark brought not only the energy, the rebounds, the block shots, he brought the three-point shooting. Pass to Looney. Now here's Curry. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Winslow. And that comes off the assist by Jones. And now a nine-point Grizzly lead. A player known for his athleticism, Clark's skill set may have been underappreciated by people and personnel. And not only the long-range shooting, Clark showed up with a terrific floater, hit his free throws, he even started creating for others by the end of last year. Curry with it. He's got 21. For three, buries it from three-point range. Curry's got seven points for the quarter. And, and let's see, guys, if that triggers another little explosion from him after hitting three triples in that first quarter. It's Morant's with the drive. Yeah, you see the explosiveness there, the fluidity. Morant's unbelievable. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. The first one falls. You know Jean Morant, such a dynamic guard his combination of speed and creativity makes for some tough matchups Kent Bazemore's checked in for Clay Thompson no free throws good from Morant and so Curry will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors trailing here by eight and down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. Well, shots don't get any higher percentage than this. Looney is solid at getting good positioning and finishing. Jones kicks to Zhang. Jones with it. Looney on him. Jones the best to Clark. Trying to get open is Zhang. No good from Clark. Here's Morant. Pass to Zhang. Now Winslow. Defended by Pascal. Back to Winslow. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got his third assist on the night. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And now here's Chris. Eight points his last outing. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. And let's bring up a list of point guards that over the last month have been on fire from three-point land. Third is Stephen Curry. You know, if there are no other options available, any of these guys can just step back and knock down a triple. Great backup plan for any point guard to have. And as well as they shoot the three, I don't think it needs to be the backup plan. It could be a plan A. Now, when the D forgets about him on the perimeter, they're playing with fire. Lucky they don't get burned here. There's 31 seconds left in the second quarter. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Memphis leading by eight. Here's Winslow. He's got seven. To the middle. It's stolen by Curry. And Curry with the clear path to the hoop. No good there. Some solid defense from Clark. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. And so it's Memphis with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Jonas, you guys got off to a strong start. How important was it to set the tone early? You know, we came out with a different energy. We said it's enough to struggle from the start. You know, we got to focus and play good starts. That is where it all starts. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. 
Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. There was no stopping John Morant in the first half. He had 18 points, two rebounds, and seven assists. And you have to like what's going on in Memphis, Shaq. John Morant feeding Jaron Jackson Jr. Jackson Jr. played against his dad. He's part of that exceptional top five in 2018 class. He's actually one of the youngest guys in that class, though. You know what the funny thing is? You know, he can finish with either hand. Like, as a guy, most of the guys. He's amphibious. I like it. Well, but, uh, by one. but uh, he's just scratching the surface. I don't know if he could guard one through five, but he can guard one through five for spurts. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Curry has been sensational. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And, and as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? Keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. Curry and Clay of the Splash Brothers in the backcourt. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Draymond Green. And it's Wiseman in at the five spot. And with that height and, and incredible leaping ability, Wiggins can throw it down as easy as anyone. And finished off by Morant. <laughs> and how about they don't waste any time matching that throw down with one of their own. <laughs> A show of their determination right there. Warriors trail by 10. Now here's Curry. The shot by Thompson, no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And a quick look at how the Grizzlies' schedule is shaping up. On Wednesday, they'll go up against LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. And then on Friday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Indiana, going up against the Pacers. And for the matchup with the Jazz, there aren't many other meetings that are as evenly matched as this one. Both teams can give and take punches, and this one, I think, is going to come down to the wire. And what you like most about Brooks is his attacking mentality. I mean, he's someone who excels at taking on the defense and charging inside. And both free throws good for Brooks. Warriors trail by 12. Now Curry. On the wing, Thompson. Misses the three. Anderson against Wiggins. Memphis moving that ball around. Jackson kicks to Valanciunas. And they double up Morant. Shot clock at six. And here's Anderson from the arc. Andrew Wiggins grabs the board. Wiggins has got his fourth rebound in this one. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And this is encouraging. Wiggins looking committed to shooting and forcing the D to compromise. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. First one falls for him. And the winner's mentality Wiggins has is commendable. A hard worker who wants to keep improving. And both free throws good for Wiggins. 
Anzo Brooks will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Jackson with it. Picked up by Thompson. Stolen by Thompson. Here's Curry. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Curry's got it back down to within single digits for the Warriors. Here's Jackson. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Jackson's got eight points. They are just killing him on the interior. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Curry passes to Wiseman. Morant against Curry. Outside, Green, just five to shoot. Curry kicks to Wiseman. That one misses, and it's Memphis the other way. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Now the pass to Valanciunas. Morant against Curry. It's stolen by Green. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jaron Jackson. And that'll be his third foul so far. The Anthony Melt. He's checked in for John Morant. And here is Curry. 26 points for him. Outside, Green. Sweet little floater. Green's got his first two points of the night. I mean, this is something Draymond's added to his game. The floater over the top. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Memphis leading by eight. Here's Melton. Six points for him. Passes it to Brooks. Six on the shot clock. Here's Anderson. Wiggins with the block. His length gives Wiggins an advantage on the D. He can get his hand to shots that a lot of other players would not be able to impact. That's their third straight make off an assist. Here's Melton after the made shot from Clay Thompson. Pass to Brooks. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Oh, he hasn't been much of a shot blocker in his career, but Clay denies that. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Jones is checked in. Oubre is checked in for the Warriors. And the Warriors miss again. I don't know if it's been the main factor, but this off night has definitely been one factor here. Jones, no luck. Everything looked good until the finish. And it all goes wrong. Here's Wiggins. And the rejection by Jackson. His offense has been non-existent tonight. This really hurt me. Jones, the pass to Jackson. Great D that time from Oubre. Credit the D for not giving up on that play. He's a tough cover down, though. Curry on the wing. Defended by Anderson. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Yo, it, it would be a shame to make all this progress and let them off the hook. You got to keep the pressure on. Jones dishes to Brooks, and he gets it to go. Brooks has got eight points. And sometimes it seems Brooks is better at scoring like this. I mean, he enjoys overcoming challenges. And here are the Warriors now. Six-point game. Thompson outside. Pass to Oubre. Ball's knocked loose. Curry on the wing. Six to shoot. Inside. Eisman. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Jonas Valanciunas. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. This season, 88% on the line, so he has been in a comfort zone. Clark, he's checked in for Memphis. Justice Winslow comes in for Dylan Brooks. And he's good on the second. And the Grizzlies leading by five. Outside, Jones. It's stolen by Weisman. Three on three. 
Curry finds Wiggins. And it's Wiggins with the jam. You're taking it to the D. When Wiggins is forcing the issue, he shows why he went first overall. Stolen by Thompson. Here's Curry. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got four assists in the game. I mean, he has his choice of finish, and love that he picks the finger roll. Grace before power. Now here's Winslow. Seven points in the game. The ten-footer. Second shot opportunity. Had a hand on it. Yeah, that one put him over the limit, and it's so early that if they're not careful, this could turn into a parade at the free-throw line. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free-throw line in the game. Gorky Dang's checked in for Memphis. Kevon Looney is checked in for the Warriors. And it's Jones with the ball for the Grizzlies. And there's the pass to Winslow. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail bite. What's up? That's good from Winslow. Here's Golden State now. They're on a 17 to 7 run. Wiggins kicks to Thompson. Over Jones. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Thompson's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. And you can tell Thompson knows his role. He's out there to score. And he loves to stay aggressive. Jones looking for an opening. Pass to Chang. On the wing, Jackson. Just five on the clock. Trying to get open is Chang. Jackson misses. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now, here's Thompson. He's got 21. Jones drives in. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Shoot two. And that one falls for Jones. And the Warriors making a change here. Chris has checked in. And so Jones nails both of them. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, That'll help them seal the deal. Thompson passes to Chris. Here's Looney. Thompson outside from the arc. And it's Thompson again missing. After the monster first half from three-point range, I mean, things have dried up for him here in the second. Jang shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting two. The first one at the line is good. John ja Morant, he's checked in for Jaron Jackson. No, 
he hits both from the strike. Warriors trail by four. Riggins outside. Pass to Thompson. Over Jones. And it's Thompson that time on the assist by Wiggins. 23 points for Clay Thompson. He got a little fancy with the fadeaway on that one. Wiggins against Morant. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Thompson. But you got to love how attacking Morant is. I mean, he's so excellent at forcing the issue and getting the foul. He is three for three from the free throw line. Shooting two. That's good from Morant. Good on both. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Higgins outside. Pass to Oubre. Chris kicks to Wiggins. Golden State moving it around. Pocket six. Here's Looney. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Getting it done inside. Looney looks intimidating. Using his physical gifts to own the paint. And they double up Morant. And finished off by Jang. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Trailing by four. The pass to Looney. And here's Chris. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Chris has got his second bucket of the night. Tremendous feed from Looney. He's not thinking about himself. He's scanning the floor, looking to create for his teammates. It's Morant with the drive. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. This is why they go to him when the game is tight. He ups his intensity level. Passes it to Chris. Here's Oubre, and stolen by Jang. And here we go. Fast break, and Morant's got it, and it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. Grizzlies making a switch here. Brooks checked in, and the Warriors also making a change. Pascal's checked in. Winslow kicks to Brooks. Pass to Morant. The Warriors pull it in. Chris has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. He gets that one. pascal has got his first points of the night. Well, playmaking is one area of the game where Clay continues to develop, trying to go from good to elite. Morant against Thompson. Pass to Winslow. A minute 42 left to play in the third. That shot is off. Coming up empty for the second time this game. Four for six. And it's Wiggins with the jam. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Ooh, rolling to the rim with force. Love when Morant goes hard and converts with the slam. So it's the Warriors now. A two-point game. Wiggins passes to Chris. We've got 113 left in the third. Kicks it to Wiggins. Shot clock at five. Winslow with it. Ten points for him. 
and Brooks. Here we go. The shot that time, not on target. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. They haven't needed them as much as I thought they would tonight. The Grizzlies shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. Winslow finds Clark, and it's Clark with the jam. Quick off the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. There's 37 seconds left to play here in the third. Brooks against Wiggins. Buries the long-range jumper. Wiggins has got 11 points in the quarter. He's been a different player since halftime. Coming on strong now. Morant outside. He dishes it to Jang. To the paint. Clark kicks to Winslow. Down low. Here's Morant. And there it is for him. Morant's got 10 points here in the second half. Man, I love watching this kid play. Morant, he's just electric at the offensive end. He's having a night. And the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Grizzlies lead by three. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Here's Morant. Morant and Brooks manning the backcourt. Kyle Anderson is out there with Brandon Clark. And it's Jang in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed ten straight points in the paint. The pass to Pascal. Now Wiggins shoots the three. Rebound by Jang. Oh, man, as good of a shooter as he is, it drives him crazy to miss a wide-open three like that. Here's Anderson. That one doesn't drop. The Warriors go the other way with it. Outside Curry. On the wing, Green. Rebound by Jang. Jang's got six rebounds here tonight. Morant against Curry. And it's Morant missing. Warriors trail by five. Pass goal, the pass to Green. Yep, that one goes in there. Well, you got to be aware of Green. Although he's a pass first player, he even looked for a shot in here. Anderson dishes to Brooks. The Warriors pull it in. Wiggins has got six rebounds now in the game. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Anderson with the block. And, and blocks like this fire Anderson up, which in turn get his teammates going as well. Wiggins left side. Good, and Curry gets the assist. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. This is why they go to him in these spots. I mean, they trust his judgment and ability to score down the stretch. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And looking at Curry's stats, one thing that jumps out, and, and it may be a little surprising, for the last three seasons, he's averaged over five rebounds a game. Valanciunas is checked in for the Grizzlies. And the Warriors also making a change. Eisman's checked in for Kavon Looney. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, guys, I caught Taylor Jenkins' message to his team. With this game still up for grabs, he told his team, hey, we're in position to take this one, guys. Let's stay focused and stay together, and we'll get it done. We'll see how it plays out, Kevin. Thanks, David. The Warriors have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. To take the lead, and Green puts it in. He wasn't a threat to shake guys off the dribble when he first entered the league. Draymond, he's rectified that now. Here's Morant. That shot misses. Great D that time from Green. Wiggins inside the line. And that one goes long. For Memphis, they've gone just one of six in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. 
Jang inside. Working on Pascal. The Grizzlies with another miss. Golden State's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Wiggins. Anderson with the block. Here's Moran. And finished off by Moran. Okay. Look at Moran flexing a little muscle right there. Showing off his athletic ability right in their face. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Moran's against Curry. Passes to Pasco. Fires the three. It's Curry. That time on the assist by Wiseman. Curry's got 31 points. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. Yes, that goes in. And the Warriors lead by four. Oh, man, on the fast break. Curry's not only a prolific scorer, he's an efficient scorer as well. And finished off by Morant. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their four lead. This is why they go to him when the game is tight. He ups his intensity level. Here's Curry. The Grizzlies making the shot. Pascal finds Wiggins. They kick it out to Green. This one for three. And the Warriors get it back. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First free throw is good. Oubre is checked in for Golden State. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Here's Valanciunas. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Golden State's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Pass to Wiseman. Morant against Curry. Higgins outside. Just five to shoot. Here's the three. Offensive rebound. Wiseman. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Morant, and the layup is good. Morant's got the game tied up here for Memphis. Yeah, wiry, strong, and courageous. Morant's willing to slam it up in there if you give him a lane. Wiseman kicks to Green. Pass to Curry from downtown. Knocks down the three ball. Curry's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Warriors. Always looking to fire away from outside the arc. Curry is a master at hitting these shots. Here's the pass to Valanciunas. Morant scanning the floor. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Kelly Oubre. A wildly unpredictable player. Anderson is skilled at drawing the D in and then making them get overly assertive. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Jang. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. Both free throws good from Anderson. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. They lead by one. Weisman the pass to Curry. Outside, Green pulls it up. That one off the back iron and out. The Grizzlies have gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Here's Morant. A miss that time would have put him up. Golden State's gone a disappointing 2 of 6 on three-point attempts here in the fourth. Here's Weisman. 
Nice deep from Valanciunas. And the Grizzlies shooting at 42% in this final quarter. Anderson passes to Jackson to take the lead. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. And the Grizzlies lead by one. Boy, right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the win. Well, that's good, solid work in the painted area. Thompson's a threat from anywhere. Grizzlies have gone 6 of 13, so just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Now here's Curry. Outside, Green. That three off the mark. Green's got three of his nine shots to fall. Anderson dishes to Morant. Passes it to Brooks. No good from Valanciunas. The Warriors leading. To the inside. Stolen by Brooks. And here we go. Fast break and Morant's got it. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. One thing Morant does with consistency, I mean, he keeps defenders Five. off balance. Elbow. Two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And the second free throw, good. Boy, they would have loved to grab the lead there, but you can't make them all. Timeout called the Warriors. You have to like what you're seeing from John Morant. Oh, yeah, no question what they'll be talking about in this timeout. They need to figure out some way to slow him down. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Steph Curry. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. Here's Curry. Down low, here's Thompson, and Thompson throws it down. Taking the opportunity to explode to the bucket and punish the rim. Thompson, he'll take the easy ones when he can get them. And finished off by Morant. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their four leader. This is why they go to him when the game is tight. He ups his intensity level. And so it's Golden State with it. The Grizzlies making the shot. Sinks the three-pointer. Are able to stop on a dime at full speed. Curry with the nasty pull up. The Grizzlies trail by three. Brooks, the pass to Valanciunas. Now Brooks. Outside Jackson. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Valanciunas. And he can't bank that one in. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. And that is a huge call. That is not who they wanted to see headed to the bench with the outcome still in question. Gorky Dangs checked in for the Grizzlies. Brandon Clark comes in for Anderson. Anderson, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Uh, when you have a four-man with this kind of vision and the unselfishness to go with it, unreal advance. Draymond Green getting it done. Clark outside. Pass to Jackson. Over Wiseman. Four on the clock. Keeps it alive. Great positioning on the putback. Anderson's got four this quarter. Such a poised player. I mean, Anderson, he isn't phased by big moments in the game. His calm demeanor helping him deliver. Curry is inside. 
Guarded by Morant. He's kept the integrity of their offense tonight by moving and cutting and scoring every time they've needed him to. And close in the shot, even with the foul. Now the two free throws. They get Stephen Curry. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. He hits the second from the line. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one possession game. Timeout called the Warriors. So it's the Warriors now. Four-point game. Back to Curry. There's Green with the three. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. It's Anderson with the drive. Two shot. Foul. Elbow. Two. That free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. And here is Curry. Pass to Thompson. And again, it's the Warriors missing. The Grizzlies trail by three. And the pass to Anderson. Back to Brooks. Anderson against Oubre. Shot clock at six. The nine-foot shot. And there's the play by Anderson inside. Anderson's got seven points here in this quarter. With the long frame and adequate strength. I mean, Anderson, he one-ups the defender in that shot. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. That's an unforced error. That will drive a coach crazy. Got to play heads up out there. Thompson against Brooks. Wants to get it to Oubre and does. Curry outside. It's Clark with the rebound. Clark's... And Clark has got the ball here for the Memphis Grizzlies. They trail by one. And they double up Morant. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And here are the Warriors now. The Warriors shooting well. They're at 45%. Here's Curry. On deep. Brooks grabs the board. left in the fourth. Morant, it's good, and they get the go-ahead bucket. Morant's got 42 in the game. That's a John Morant special, ripping the hearts out of the opening. They've shared the load offensively. And guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now, they're trying to react, and that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. Now, here's Green. Outside curve. The end of the drought. Nails the tray. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in his hands. They thought they could count on him to make crucial shots. Here's Brooks. Outside Jackson. Passes it to Clark. Six on the shot clock. 
Great D that time from Oubre. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they commit an intentional time out, time out. foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Timeout called the Warriors. They're up by two. 17 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Seventeen seconds left in the fourth. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Now, one thing I'll never forget about Thompson. I mean, that night he dropped 37 points in a single quarter. That shows you how explosive he can be. But those are big. I mean, turns into a two-possession game. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're down by four. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Brooks dishes to Jackson. Three-pointer. Warriors with the rebound. And they're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Those free throws are the nail in the coffin, guys. Timeout called. The Grizzlies, they're trailing by six. Just four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Well, a tough proposition here. They've got to knock down a, a three, foul, hope for some misses, then make another three. I, I would not hold out much hope. Now here's Morant for three. So we see the Warriors get the win here. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Andrew, an impressive win for you guys. How will you look back on tonight? Uh, it feels great, you know, and uh, I think the whole team played great. You know, we shared the ball, uh, we grabbed rebounds, we made big possessions, you know, so I think it was a great game. Hey, Andrew, congrats again. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For David Aldridge, Craig Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.